G'day, welcome to Market Sam After Work. Today I've got a, a bit of a product video, um, as it mentions on the title there, a three-footed monster. Um, it's about a sort of a new product, maybe a way of using a new product in a different way, but um, I'll first of all go through what it is. A three-footed monster. It's not a vertically challenged Hollywood monster. Um, it's actually talking about three feet. Um, and what it is, is talking about, well, this is the big version of what they sell as a three-footed monster. Now, what is it? It's got three feet, that's why it's called three-footed monster. Those are magnets, and on top has a very familiar bit to us in the shooting world, but that's an ARCA clamp. What it actually is, and for those that don't realize where ARCA comes from, it, that ARCA that we use on our, on our tripods, uh, we use uh, various clamps on the ARCA rails and rifles and that sort of stuff. Um, once again, another ball head on a tripod mount. That actually comes from the camera world, and it's about a very positive, fast way to attach a camera be that a still camera or be that a video or movie camera um, to attach it to click it on and off to do that and then some time ago someone realized that would be a pretty good way to do things for what we want to do on the rifle side of things and so then the arca rails and arca chassis and all that sort of stuff came in and we use it all over the place well in whether the ball heads or this sort of leveling head that we use in the tripod they work really really well we use that sort of clamp system for mounting on our Ford Optic mounts and for various other things, which are mounting to the rifle with mounting bipods and all the rest of it. So someone in this world, and the three-footed monster actually is exactly the same thing. It's about mounting cameras. Um, they have a lot smaller units than these that are made for mounting your um, GoPro or your action camera or small still camera, whatever it is, mounting it to, uh, or you're sitting it on a surface um, I, with, in this situation, they're magnets. These are magnets, they've got spring bits on the bottom of them, so you can actually mount this to your car door, your bonnet, your car roof, that sort of stuff, and actually this big fella run a pretty big camera on there. So this is for the, the movie making side of things or documentary side of things. Gives you, it's, it's got this insulation for vibration. It clamps with some very good magnets. Now this product is made, it's 100% Australian made, I've been told, except for the magnets. So these are obviously a, a super magnet type thing and I don't know anything about that more than the fact I've used them and they grip very nicely. They grip onto your car panels. You put them on some heavy metal like a safe, then they're really hard to pull off. They stick on really heavy on, on you know, quarter inch steel. Um, so they're very good magnets. On your car panels, which is where someone come up with the idea to sort of use these, and I've just done a little bit of testing um, on the panel on a car, then it sticks firmly, but it's not pulled. You're not bending the panel to get it back off the car. As long as you're wiping things down, and I suppose I'll get into what it really works nicely for on the car side of things. Um, there are smaller units, which are, like I said, made for the cameras. This is made for a larger camera, but actually working very nicely. And I'll set a rifle up there and explain a little bit more. I'll get some of this out of the road. This is what I just went out in the paddock and tested. Now this is, all out of the road. This is uh, Riga Precision and the uh, 6.5 PRC. And I thought it was just a reasonable one to take out there and have a look and see how it shot. Now I've used, because of the way I wanted to shoot that sort of stuff, I've used my um, slider on the top here. Um, simply the way I wanted to do it, it could have clamped straight to the, um, to the Arca rail on this rifle. Um, but I wanted a little bit of backwards and forwards movement, see how it shot, and I wanted to go and test it reasonably properly. Um, but you can see what someone came up with as a simple thought. This is made to take a big heavy camera. So uh, listen, and the other side of things is anyone that knows that's done a bit of hunting, a bit of using a vehicle to do that sort of stuff, whether it's stalking in the vehicle or it's hunting the vehicle or wh whatever sort of stuff we're using a vehicle. And whether you drive in the vehicle and then shoot off the bonnet or you're on the back of the likes of a, a ute um, or you, in the States you'd call it a truck, but standing on the back of that sort of thing on a tray back and then using the roof as a rest, you would know from doing that sort of stuff, and that's when you're trying to stretch out a little bit, this isn't the 50 yard stuff or the 100 yard stuff, it's stretching out a little bit further, and you want to use some more stability to take a decent sort of shot. So what we generally have done in that situation, everyone who's been there has done that sort of thing, is you'll, whether it's a bag or generally it's a, it's a bipod, that then you put the feet down on the bonnet of the vehicle or the roof of the vehicle. 
and that generally is a little bit of paint damage happens from feet getting scratching around that sort of stuff um, it also is not quite as stable because you can't really preload or feel it properly it's sort of it's not as stable if there's a bit of angle to it then the bipod's trying to slide off the side and it's it works okay but it's not awesome because there's nothing specifically for it. In a specifically set up vehicle, okay, they'll have rests and things welded into the into the roll cage or the, the tray or that sort of stuff so you can shoot off that sort of stuff. Um, but this was a thought, which someone had, I don't know where this in thought initially came from, to actually use this thing here. So I thought I would test it. It, it makes sense in some levels. Um, I was unsure as how these are gonna stick and what's gonna feel like and that sort of stuff. And it isn't specifically designed for shooting by any means. It's designed to do its job as a camera. But when I set it up out there and shot, we went out, um, the weather has gone crazy. Over this month, we've had 50 degrees. And now when we, the one morning where it wasn't blowing a gale and it was supposed to where we could get some shots, it was gonna be cloudy, but it was misting rain the whole time. So we're out in the rain. So um, we set up still, we got to 700 yards is what we set up on. Had a couple of shots to make it was all work, gonna work. And yeah, it was gonna work. Um, other than other than fairly poor vision, um, this is the this is an element scope on here. So a good scope. It's a 6.5 PRC. It's just a factory rifle with a with a different buttstock on it. But basically, not much going on here. But still, 700 yards. And once I made sense of it and got on the plate, then it was really that was a five inch group or just under a five inch group at 700 yards by using this thing. Um, the way you can adjust it, just like a, a sort of a normal sort of ball head, you've got a tension knob here so you can actually move it around, get your cant on that sort of stuff, get it angled on here. That works nice and neat and tidy, so that's good. There's another one down the bottom here which lets you um, traverse, so you know you could use it for that sort of stuff quite well and set this tension up to where you could really drive it around the place and get what you wanted. I just set up on target. And just wanted to see, um, I should say it's also got a quick release here so it's easy to get on and off. And also inside here is also set up where it can take a Picatinny rail. So a Picatinny rail and the groove to go in a Picatinny rail. So very flexible on that side of things. Put that back on there, lock that back up. But I found with it sticking on being, being magnetic attached, it really did give me some nice stability. I could put it out to where I wanted to. I was running forward in sort of a semi bipod position, so I was controlling the buttstock a little bit more, but it, let, it really worked nicely on that score, being able to lean over and use the front of the bonnet, um, which should be the same when you're on the cab and being able to really use your body, to the vehicle to, to stabilize your body, control the buttstock a little more with your hand and your grip and that sort of stuff. And then a system that is not skipping, it's not bouncing around. It's you're not trying to hold it on the curve of the bonnet, that sort of stuff. It's stuck down pretty solidly with these magnets. Um, shot really well. I was really happy with it. So yeah, listen, I think it's a win. It's another place where the technology of what's gone into making movies and, and, and videos and that sort of stuff where, like I said, this would be designed to hang a camera off the side of the door to get some running shots of the wheel or that sort of stuff. And you see that all the time, whether it's in the video world, in the YouTube world or the movie world, you'd see these sort, this sort of um, where this other application would work really well for that side of it. It also works pretty damn well for doing a shooting side of things, especially if in the long range stuff, you know, you're in the, oh, listen, it's gonna work well in the 1500 yard stuff, but probably an overkill. But if you're really in the world where you are in that maximum sort of hunting ranges in the 500, 600 meters, and you want that extra precision, this actually turns a vehicle into, without damaging it, these are rubber feet and obviously I would do and I'd suggest anyone if you want the moment you're going to put on you make sure they're clean you make sure your bonnet's clean on they stick there's no there's no grot and grime it's not moving around anymore it has the flexibility of these springs in here so it can flex around if you push it um, on that side of things so that works nicely but it's also set up to where um, or like the way I used it was with the slider, but it does have enough flexibility in to be able to stick there and it does give you that extra stability without the marking from the bipod feet or the sliding around the place or trying to control it, that sort of stuff worked really well. Anyway, that's just a quick one on that um, decent system. I think I've, I've, I'll put a link to um, somewhere other so you can find what they're going there. Um, it is a decent bit of gear. There's a lot into it, um, but uh, listen, it, it worked. I liked it. 
Anyway, guys, that was a quick run on that. Otherwise, the rifle, the, um, the likes of the Element Scope, the likes of the, this Ruger Precision, actually it's shooting really nicely as it showed as well. And I thought it was a pretty good, good caliber to do in a general range of things um, and work nicely. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for checking in. Hope you liked the video. We'll catch you next time.